How's it going everybody, Bash Pokemon here, and welcome to my Paradigm Trigger opening. I actually got this early this time around. It was here uh, within four days after ordering it, six days after release, which is really fast. And I'm really excited to open this because, you know, as I do try to avoid spoilers like the plague, but certainly for this set, there has been a lot of hype around. So I try to open this without damaging the box. I like to keep that in good shape. So there we go. Nice packs. Actually, the artwork looks pretty cool. I like it. We've got Reggie Draco, Reggie Lecky, and of course the Lugia. Which, the Lugia, so put the box over here. The Lugia is the reason why this set is so hype. There we go. Okay. That took a bit longer than expected. First pack. Let's see. So, the Lugia in this set is crazy, crazy expensive. And it is, well, I, I have to admit, it is a cool card. But I feel like, yes, we pull a uh, Reggie Lecky V, nice. While it is a really, really cool card, don't get me wrong, but the prices, uh, they are kind of crazy. Because you remember the Giratina V that released in Lost Abyss, which was like, I don't know, it released like 300? 300 euros, which... On release is really expensive by itself don't get me wrong but the Lugia just tops it all that one was being sold for upwards of like 800 900 euros I haven't, the, I haven't checked the price yet but that card is getting crazy expensive or has been expensive since the since the release we pull nothing in that one but that's about to be expected with so many booster packs Actually, there has been a video um, from OKJLOV okay where he talks about not only... He made a video specifically about um, the Lugia from Paradigm Trigger and he also followed up with a few other videos about like um, female full art trainers, Japanese ones for that matter, um, which are also getting crazy expensive. And both of those videos are like all three, I can't remember how many he made. All three of these are very, 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 very interesting. I highly recommend you check them out. And then he also, I think, did a live stream where he talked to um, to Primal Lugia, which was in itself, once again, also very interesting. Highly, highly recommend checking those videos out. All right, sorry about that. We pull a Luxray. And our first holo, an Agron. And a, I forgot the name of this one. Man, oh man. I have started playing uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, but I still haven't gone far, I haven't come far yet. Although I did encounter that Pokemon, and I did actually catch it as well. The unevolved form, that is. So put a Dratini, I know that one, Cabalion. And there we go, I've forgotten the name again. It's the Armaldo for the end there, so yeah. Full art trainers, Japanese ones. Crazy expensive. Also, the one that you can pull in here, which is uh, Candace, which I I know she's a oh god, I think she's the trainer, the um, ice and ice Pokemon or a gym leader, not trainer, gym leader from if I recall correctly, Diamond and Pearl. If I re are you serious? Are you serious right now? We just talked about Candace. Holy sh! I can't curse. Don't curse. Okay, this is actually insane. This is this is insane. This card is is also crazy expensive. Not as expensive as the Lugia, mind you, but this card, this. Whew, okay, okay. I do have to say, this once again proves that I cannot pull Japanese alternate arts to save my life. But, at least I can pull full art trainer cards, like similar to the Egaler and friends that I've pulled from the VMAX Climax opening. I do have to admit, this is a really cool card. Let me just check. I'm probably gonna send this into grading as well. I mean, the centering isn't perfect. But I still have the, um, I still have these two prepared, you know, for, for grading. Still wanna send them to CGC, haven't gotten around to it yet. And this one will probably follow suit if I can pick it up. There you go. Holy moly. Okay. 
I mean, I, I'm in love with full art trainers, and this is a really cool one, but that once again proves that I cannot pull a Japanese alt art to save my life, but to be fair, I ain't complaining. I do prefer um, top loaders, but there you go. There we go, that is a pull and a half. Holy moly, okay, you get a special place right here, Candace. While we put the Reggie Lecky and the Agron here. Oh, cool. okay, that's cool. I have to keep going. I've just, I, it took me three minutes to get this card in this uh, semi rigid holder because I was so stunned by it. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Now, there is a chance that we pull another secret rare. Although I don't think so, I've I've opened a few boxes. A few boxes. I've opened a lot of Japanese boxes. I've never gotten to secret. Although, no, that's not that's not right. I've opened the uh, the VMAX Climax, and we've got one character secret rare and the additional secret rare in the um, Gala Friends. So there you go. I guess I did get two secret rares in a set before, but not in a set like this, like a normal set. There we go. Okay. I, I, I think I I was so flustered by that, Candace, that I've forgotten how to open packs. There you go, Metatite, Oddish, Elioptile, I want to say. That's um, the pre-evolution of Agron, Agron, which I've forgotten the name of. And we've got a Lycanroc, very nice Lycanroc, Midnight Form. Midnight Form Lycanroc. So the alternate arts... Uh, you can expect, or you can expect, uh, if you pull one, they're all very amazing. Like, don't get me wrong, the Lugia, you want to pull the Lugia, that's the most expensive one. You know, either you want to pull that, you want to sell that for a few other cards, which is what I would do, or you just want to pull it because Lugia is your favorite, you know, whatever. But, the other ones are also very cool that you can get here. There is an unknown, unknown V alternate art, which is really cool, and, actually, my personal favorite is this one. The alternate art for Reggie Draco, which in turn we will actually get in Silver Tempest, which I am very hyped about, because I like I like the Reggies. You know, even though this is a newer Reggie, they originate from Generation 3, which makes them uh, very, very nice indeed. As you know, I like Reggie as well as a skunk tank, nice. And a Dragonair, yo! Check out this Dragonair, that looks cool, that's a very nice illustration. Who drew that, by the way? Jinji Yakumatsu, cool. That's a really cool illustration of that dragon arrow. I really like that one. Okay, pulled our secret we're early on. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. Also, I've seen on the um, Pokemon TCG subreddit, someone posted a picture of the uh, Friends in Galar in English. And it looks amazing. I mean, it's the same card in Japanese, just the texture is different. Texture is, I don't know, I don't want to say a bit rough, a bit more rough, but I don't know if that fits the description perfectly. Like, the English texture, not only for full art trainers, but for, like, uh, alternate arts and things like that, the texture isn't, isn't as fine as for Japanese packs, and here we go, Lugia V-Star. I really wanted to pull this, because this card, when we do get it in, in um, Silver Tempest, this card is going to be crazy. Because right now, in Japan, this card is taking spots. Decks have been made with this one, and they're taking up like 20% of all decks currently. So this is actually a really, really strong card. And I'm really glad I pulled this one. I, at, least, at least we got a Lugia. It's not the alternate art, but this is, this is basically the second best thing we could get. Whoa, I can already say what a successful box, eh? I can already say what a successful box, and we still have got plenty of booster packs to go through. I think that's about right. Let's see, Pikachu, yo, okay. Check this one out, it's a Pikachu, and it's like... Is he attacking or running away from Togedemaru and Dedene? That's a really cool illustration. There we go. Oh, speaking of Togedemaru, Frostless, oh, with Candice in the background, check this out, fitting. Very, very fitting. Nice. And, yo, speaking of Candice, this is this really is the Candice box, eh? This really is the Candice box. Very, very cool. Okay. So, there are a few other things I wanted to talk about. I'll probably release this just the next day, which will be a Friday. I'm recording this on, on Thursday. 
And that will mean, in turn, oh nice, cool Dragonair. Very nice. Simple illustration, but it works. It just works. It just works. As you know, I've pre-ordered the uh, Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, which will release tomorrow or uh, at release of this video today. Um, as of right now, I haven't gotten a shipping confirmation for it yet. Although I have to admit, I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to open it. I mean, if I get it for MSRP, that's fine, but I'm not going to go out of my way to open it. I think it's a cool product. The promos are gorgeous. Like, love or hate Charizard, the the promos are are gorgeous. Like you have to admit that. Although there have been some uh, quality issues, but you know that's that's nothing new as of right now. There were tons of issues. Um, I don't know when when did it start? Maybe I want to say celebrations. That's too early. Maybe. You could definitely see uh, some issues in Lost Origin, but also way before that. Way before that. Nothing. Nose goes in that one. But I like these uh, these bigger boxes from time to time, because I have so much more time to talk about stuff. Kind of like, talk about things I want to say, and everything like that. So what I wanted to say originally, before we pulled that cool Dragonite, Oh nice, an Omastar. Or is it Oma Knight? No, that's an Omastar, I'm pretty sure. B. Look at this one. Very, very good. Cute. Very cute illustrations. I like it. I love it, you could even say. So, here we are. So yeah, um, there's probably not gonna be a video um, releasing on Wednesday, like a normal video. I'll try to put up a shorts video, though. Just so that Wednesday is like with no video at all because oh, okay. I actually didn't know you we could get this We got like a a V-star item. I should have checked what this item is beforehand So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so this is a growth tablet Which um, has the effect when this card is attached to a Pokemon V it can use the following V-star power Attach growth tablet to one of your Pokemon that doesn't have a Pokemon tool attached to it and then the ability which is this one one um, is Star Alchemy. During your turn, you may search your deck for any one card to put into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one V Star Power in a game. That, I don't know. I'm kind of. Uh, I don't know if that effect is good. Like, on paper, it actually sounds terrible. But, hear me out. This this might actually be, um, be played in certain decks, although I might be wrong. Maybe this is a staple, although it's it's one V-Star power per game. So if you use this, you can't use the V-Star power of like, for example, um, Lugia. Though I don't know, but that that one card, you can search a card from your deck, which, coming from Yu-Gi-Oh, does sound very good, or like playing Hearthstone, searching any one card, where one very specific card, could win you the match. Or not the match, the game. Matches are a set of three, usually, best of three. But, you know, sounds like a cool effect, but I don't think it might, it, will, it probably won't see, end up seeing play. Maybe like a very niche deck or something like that. But we'll see. Ranguru? Oh, a Rapidash, holographic Rapidash, and another Lycanroc. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Another thing I wanted to say, I've said it in the, I think I've said it in the um, VMAX opening that I've did a um, few weeks back that I, like, leading up to V-Star Universe, which releases on um, December 2nd in Japan, I wanted to open, like, the older sets, like VMAX, Climax, Shiny Star V, and Tag Team All-Stars. Um, unfortunately, up and seeing the prices currently of Tag Team All-Stars, which is currently going for about 270 I have decided to not open that set because that is, in my opinion, a bit too much money for for one set. So I will only open VMAX Climax and V Star, or Shiny V Star, to like lead up to the release of V Star Universe, which is going to be amazing. I'm going to try to buy a lot of that box. Also, another thing regarding VMAX Climax I've heard, also from OKJLove, okay apparently VMAX Climax is supposed to get like another print, 
um, towards the end of this year. So if that ends up being true, you know, it's all speculations anyways, but if that ends up being true, which I hope it is, you might actually be able to pick up some, some boxes for cheaper than right now. They probably won't go down to like the 40 euros they were when that set was basically printed and printed, but I could, I could see them maybe going down to like 60. Uh, that would be amazing. So that might be your last chance to buy um, VMAX Climax, either to open or to leave it sealed. You know, whichever you prefer. Whichever you prefer. Okay, not much going on right now. We should still get... Oh no, we've gotten our second um, V-Star card, which was the, the item, the growth tablet. Maybe we can get another V, which would be kind of cool. We'll see. Snorunt. Another Cabalion. Raichu. And a Lance. Lance is also really cool. Like, the full art for Lance is also really cool. And it's... I don't want to say cheap because it's still rather expensive, but it's way cheaper than Candace, that's for sure. And I'm probably going to end up picking up that Lance. But as you know, I do like some full art trainers and Lance is perfect. Also, I've recently picked up uh, the Rose full art. From, I've forgotten what the set was, which the set was. Might put it on the screen. Oh, holy moly! Okay, we've gotten another Lugia. And this is a really cool illustration by Mitsuhiro Arita. He really knocked it out of the park once again with this one. That was like four euros that rose. That uh, rose full art, which cheap full arts are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna put this one to his sleeve. Should've, I should have sleeved up the other ones, but check this artwork out. Yo! This could be an alternate art. It's not, but it could be. That's how cool it is. Okay, we've only gotten four packs left, so let's get the box out of the way. So we've got a bit more space to work with here. And open the last few packs. You know, come on. Second secret rare. I'd be down. Secret rare Lugia alternate art. So far, it's giving us the, the V star and the, the V. So why not give us the alt art as well? Come on, like a super, super stacked box. But no, I'm I'm happy with this opening, definitely. Yeah, like for sure, for sure. What an amazing opening. Although, as I've said in the beginning, I cannot pull an alternate or Japanese alternate art to save my life. Hey, okay, so we did get a another V-Star. This is the unknown V-Star. Very cool. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's check this one out. Oh, this looks cool. I like this. I really, really like this. Unknown. Unknown V-Star. Yo, that's super cool. We've gotten so many amazing pulls from this one. What a successful Paradigm Trigger opening. And that, that also means, probably, that this will be the only box I will open. Well, first of all, because it's currently being scalped. Somewhat. At least on card market it is. I checked yesterday, it was being sold for like 96 euros. And with tax and shipping, I paid 80. Which is which is kind of the price you could expect, although the MSRP for, for boxes like, like these, like the bigger boxes, not the high class ones, was usually around like 40 to 50 euros. So it's still definitely very expensive, but... You know, it is what it is. Oh, nice. We end with a hollow. That's very nice. We end with a hollow. Okay, let me just go through the pulls and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we've pulled. We pulled a Lugia Vista, which I'm really, really happy about. The Unknown Vista, also really happy about it. The Growth Tablet is kind of over there. Still pretty cool. Uh, the Lugia V, which is really, really nice. The Reggie Lecky V. We've pulled the Skunk Tank V. The Oma Star V. And the Chestnut V. And of course, we cannot forget the highlight of the opening, Candice Full Art. Really, really nice. Really happy about this one. Okay, but anyways, that has been my opening for Paradigm Trigger. I hope you did enjoy it as much as I did. If you did, then a like would be super, super, very much appreciated. Uh, go subscribe to the channel if you really love the content. Uh, check out some of the other videos and stay tuned for more content in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.